Can someone help me with this specific limit? I can't seem to know how to get to the answer. Let's have a look. Here we have the limit as x approaching 2 of square root of x squared plus 12 and then minus 4 all over x minus the square root of x to the third power minus 4. Here's the deal. If we plug in 2 into all the x's, we will get 0 over 0, so we have to do more work in order to figure out the limit. But not Lapidus rule, because I believe this is meant to be done algebraically. To do so, because we have square roots, we should just try to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. But we have two of them. So yes, two conjugates. Here we go. I am going to multiply out the top by its conjugate right here, which is the square root of x squared plus 12, and change the minus to a plus. And then I'm also going to divide it by right here, right? Because right here, let me also multiply its conjugate, which is you keep that, and then you change the minus to a plus, and then square root x to the third power minus 4. And also do the same thing on the top. And then we are going to just multiply this and that, and this and that, and see what happens. So we will get the limit as x approaching 2. And now multiplying out the conjugates, all we have to do is square the first minus square the second, because this is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. Square the first, we will get x squared plus 12, and then minus square the second, 4 squared, we get 16. So that is the first part. For the bottom, square the first, we get x squared, and then minus square the second, Square square root cancel, so just get inside x to the third power minus 4. But be careful though, we will have to distribute the negative. So that's the result for this and that. Now we have this and that, just put it down here. We have x plus the square root x to the third power minus 4, and then the bottom here, square root x squared plus 12, and then plus 4. And here's the deal. We are going to work this out and work that out, factor as much as possible. And here's a secret. When we have the limit as x approaching 2, and we are dealing with like uh, power functions or polynomials, you should expect to have x minus 2 on the top and x minus 2 on the bottom, because they are the factors that cause the 0 over 0. Once you cancel them, you know you're on the right track. Have a look here. This is really just x squared minus 4, right? So we can factor that out nicely. And let me just write that down. We have the limit as x approaching 2. So we will get x minus 2 times x plus 2, the difference of 2 squares formula. And then this right here stays. Now for the bottom, it's trickier because how do we factor things like this, right? I will do it on the side for you guys x squared minus parentheses x to the third power minus 4. Distribute the negative, and perhaps let's put it down first. So we have negative x to the third power, and then plus 4, and then put down a plus x squared here. And usually we like to have a positive leading term, right? So let me factor out a negative right here, and then we get x to the third power minus x squared, and then minus 4. So how do we factor such a cubic expression here? This is a trinomial, but it's cubic. So how do we do it? Notice earlier I told you, when x is approaching 2, if we get 0 over 0, we must have a factor of x minus 2. And the truth is, if you put 2 into here, 2 to the third power is 8, minus 2 to the second power is 4, and then minus 4. This right here does give us 0, so x minus 2 is indeed a factor. That means, if we just focus on this portion, we can have x minus 2 here, and we have to figure out the remaining part. To do so, let's use the synthetic division. So how do we do it? First, let's write down the coefficients. We have 1 here, and then negative 1 for the x squared. But notice there's no x to the first power. So it's like plus 0, so this is for the 0x to the first power. Lastly, we have the minus 4. And then let's go ahead and just 
because we have x minus 2, we are going to put down a 2 right here. A 2 is a 0, so you put down a 2. Here we go. Bring the 1 down. You do 2 times 1, which is 2, and you put it here, which is 2. And you add for synthetic division. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And then do it again. This times this is 2, and you put it here. 0 plus 2 is 2. Lastly, 2 times 2 is 4. Put it here. This and that is 0. You should always end up with a 0 if you have this right here being a factor. This means we can have our next factor. The power goes down by 1 because this is x to the first power. This right here will be x to the second power. These are the coefficients. 1x second, 1x to the first, and no x. So we have x squared plus x plus 2. Now we can go back here, and then let me just write down what we have. So negative parentheses x minus 2, and then we have all that. So x squared plus x plus 2. Notice how similar they are, right? but they are not the same. You cannot cancel this out, but you could cancel this and that. Anyway, though, this right here, we have one more part. Square root of x squared plus 12 and then plus 4. All right, as I told you, x minus 4, x minus 4 cancel out nicely, and you know you're on the right track. Finally, just put 2 into all the x's and just work that out. We have a negative. Let me just put it down right here, and then put 2 in here. So we have 2 plus 2, and then this right here is... 2 plus the, Q, the square root of 2 to the third power minus 4 over 2 square plus 2 plus 2 and then square root of 2 square plus 12 and then of course the last very step is don't, don't make any mistakes on the computation otherwise all the work will be like for nothing, right? So hopefully I don't make a mistake. Let's see, this right here is 4 times, this right here is 8 minus, that is 4, but square root, right? So it's 2, 2 plus 2, another 4. And then this right here is 4 plus, that is 6 plus, that is 8. Yeah. This right here is 4, 16. Square root of is 4, and then that's 8. Oh, quite interesting. It's that 4 times 4 over 8 times 8. That's negative. All in all, though, you get negative. You can reduce, right? This is 1 half. This is 1 half. 1 half times 1 half. Negative 1 over 4. 